Just like that, just like that. Yo, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, everybody? This is the Truth Podcast. I'm KD. I just actually wanted to go ahead and go live a little bit early before everybody else get on the panel. Um, I know a lot of you are probably familiar. I've heard about, you know, uh, the baby and his little situation about what he had going on this week. Uh, and I'm thinking, I guess it started last week. Anyway. What I wanted to do first is I wanted to go ahead and play the clip for everyone that, uh, well, the clips, there's two different clips that I've seen of. Uh, one of them when he went live with, uh, I guess, a Cedernia incident, and then another one happened, I believe, like a day afterward or whatever, and he actually went live on his, uh, his IG. But anyway, let's go ahead and watch the very first clip. All right, here we go. This, my friends, is the very first clip. All right, wait, wait. There we go. No, no, no. That's the second clip. My bad. Eddie, what was it? Can't read, bro. No, let's stop. I'm joking. All right, so this is the very first clip. This is some of the very first clip. All right, here we go. What a fucking hand. What a fucking coward. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Yeah, I'm fucking live. He got the fucking phone in his hand. Look at that shit. There you go. Yeah, there I go. Okay. Do my thing. Fuck these niggas. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wow. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, whatever, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, you want to record me talking about? Shut the fuck up. I got to record you from the stage. Yeah, baby. go ahead. You it's the first thing. You ain't finna break. Man, I'll get your phone. I mean, bro, it's the first thing. Baby, the first time. Yeah, that's what it is. Like this. Nah, nah, nah. Go with your move. Crazy, bro. Oh, you started your yeah, the fucking baby called the fucking cops on me. Look at this shit. He wants me to get out of his house. Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Tell him. Tell him. Where's this stupid ass nigga at? Where's he 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 at? Yeah, whatever. He want to call the fucking cops on me for whatever the fuck reason. Whatever. Stupid ass. My three month old baby. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Fucking bitch ass nigga. No, I don't need to tell you nothing. Nah, you good. You can talk to him because he want to call you guys. Go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Ain't nobody need to talk to nothing. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, whatever. Bitch ass nigga. Bitch ass. Bitch ass. It's all good. It's all good. To I ain't never addressed no shit. I ain't never addressed nothing before because I always was like, nah, let me not talk to the internet because the internet is always gonna make their own story up, whatever the fuck. They gonna grab a little piece and put whatever story the fuck they want together. But nah, how how I've been living here for the past three months at his house, at his penthouse, back and forth, here and there, since my baby was born. And then all of a sudden, I cook for this nigga tonight. He want to come to the crib. I am sleeping in his bed talking about, you need to go. The fuck? You mean I need to go to a five-star hotel? Do it. Do it. The fuck? Ain't nobody fucking leaving. And of course, shit escalated. And this nigga want to put up a statement talking about, oh, it saddens me that I have a queen to raise. Fuck you. You ain't even been here this whole fucking time that I've had this child. Fuck you. You want to give cute little conversations talking about you a good ass dad? You the Fuck you. Fuck you. You a fucking coward. You a fucking coward. You a motherfucking coward. God damn, bro. And it's unfortunate this shit's on the fucking internet because, oh, okay. You're the it. That's not my internet. I'm gonna go ahead and clear that up right now. That ain't got nothing to do with my internet. All right, I guess that's it for that. I'll go ahead and X that out. All right, so that was the first incident, right? Crazy. It's a lot to unfold, man. So let's go ahead and get into the second video. All right, this is the second video. And I want to say she did put a video out as well. Um but let me just go ahead and play this real quick. Put some on the red. 
real quick, dude. Look at me. Where was your, where was your ass last night? I usually don't go live. I usually don't. I usually get in the frame from the internet, especially when it's like a child involved. Like I really, I don't get into that. One thing about me, like you know, one thing I do stand on to pride in is being a father. You know what I'm saying? One thing we're not about to do is let you know a failed attempt. But try to position yourself in a career through a child turning out one of the a, a good example of a black father being tore down. We ain't doing that. We ain't, we ain't about to let that be misrepresented out here. You know what I'm saying? We not we not doing that. I know it's plenty plenty of niggas that look up to me. You get know what I'm saying? They tell me all the time as far as like how I deal with what I got to deal with and still handle my business and take care of my kids like how my daddy deal with me. You see what I'm saying? So. Ain't no way you going out like that and letting this get misrepresented. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I'm gonna take pride in that we gonna hold it down. This is what it is. I got my personal assistant right here, like, you know, and I ain't wanna bring nobody down or none of that shit to lift myself up or clear my name. I really just I'm the type of nigga like I take my lick and keep my mouth shut. You know, but with my character, you know, as a father, my integrity as a father get played with, you know. Mm -mm. There's a man I got to clear the L. First of all, me and Danny Lay is not together. Do I act like we're together? No. Do I make it openly clear that we're not together? We are not going steady. Have not been, that's not what's going on. You know what I'm saying? First and foremost, she does not live with me. When did she get here to where we at? A week ago, when she was in the with two suitcases, she does not live. She's been supposed to go back. Been trying to get her stuff sent here, trying to move in. No, been made a clip and looked the dead in the eyes at calm, mature conversations. I like, know it's not what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, what we ain't gonna do it like this. Hey, I care about my kids for real. My kids ain't no marketing schemes. You don't have a baby with me and plans don't go as planned and you don't go out with a bang that's cool be my guest but when they, when they get blown all the way up into something like this like you're tripping you know what i'm saying i got you almost forcing me to where i gotta you know what i mean where i gotta potentially put your business out there with the clear bullshit that's being thrown out there ain't been with me for three months so boom we'll make this shit quick we gonna clear the l we gonna we gonna keep it moving because I got my people, they waking up, pulling up on me, my sister, she pulling up on me like, no, you need to say something. Like, you gotta say something. Like, this ain't something you can just sit back and let, you know what I'm saying, let go the way it go because it's, you gotta say something. And they only saying this because they done been around it, you know, so boom, my baby three months in, right when she's about to be born, I'll be like, do y'all. I ain't put it on the internet. I ain't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Cause it ain't about that with me. It's about the kid. You know, the kid's supposed to be mine. I'm there. That's just all I know. I'm stand up nigga. That's all I know. So I go out DR. We out DR. Everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? We do what we do. I come out there. I'm waiting on the baby to be born. I give my mama a flight. My mama getting ready to come out there. So once the baby born, my mama can see the baby when she born. We come out to DR. We see the hospital, we see this and that, I'm already like, uh, you know what I mean? I don't really want, you know, no child, I'm, you know, this is what it is, but it's a different country, so, you know, it's cool. I'm still, I'm rocking to whatever beat, you know what I'm saying? I'm rocking to whatever beat, you know what I mean? I didn't, you know, I got the child on the way, I'm stepping up, and however it go, that's how it go. The child being born into you, whatever. Shout it, listen to it. Uh, with her parents while I'm out there in DR, me and my assistant, while we out there. They got their whole thing going on. It ain't my business to be telling y'all. It ain't, you know. It does not my business to be telling y'all. You get what I'm saying? Long story short, they get into it. Me and my assistant, I took my assistant to book the jet for the following day so we can get up out of here. We ain't from here, we don't know. What these folks got going on? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's go. I come back, take care of my baby once you get here. Right now, we gotta go. 
my sister, like, you would not need to leave her in that household. You would not need to leave your baby out of Not need to leave your baby out of I'm like, nah. Put the jet. From that night to the next morning while we waiting on the jet to be up, uh, shouting, calling my phone, calling my assistant phone, her mama, DMing my kid, man, calling and texting my assistant. Her mama them trying to control her, trying to keep her over there. She trying to run away with me. I'm not trying to have nothing to do with none of this. I'm just trying to take care of my baby when he get here and make sure my baby gonna be straight when she get here. I'm not trying to have nothing to do with nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have nothing to do with nothing. I'm just trying to step up to the plate as a man and take care of my baby, no matter how I ended up and having a baby. It's a blessing to me. It's just, you know, this is how I'm set up as a man. You know what I mean? She called me 150 times. I'm like, nah, you need to stay here with your people. You need to, you know what I mean? Yeah, you need to work out what you got going on. All this shit is on, you know, all this shit on record because Shawty, you know, that's how Shawty. Shorty go all out with shit. Like, Shorty will text me a hundred thousand. This shit really is deep. You get what I'm saying? But that's what I'm in. That's what I'm, that's my reality. That's what I'm, that's what I'm mixed up in. So I got to stand on the business and still be there and take care of the child. You know? So I'm like, nah, you need to stay here. You need to stay here, Shorty. It's real deal. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, Shorty packed her shit and pulled up to the hotel we was at with her shit. You know what I mean? This shit get deep now, you know. Well, her shit in the car. My sister and I don't leave her. Like, she, she's calling my phone saying she don't feel safe if she stayed there, had a kid out here, she don't have a kid out here. So, me being the, the good hearted nigga I am, you get what I'm saying? I said, okay, fuck it. Come on, get on the jet. I call a private doctor. They had the baby. She had the baby. They delivered the baby in America the next day. As soon as the jet landed, delivered the baby safely. You know what I'm saying? Way better, way better hospital conditions, all that. And then I'm making sure that she's set up with everything she needs. I go get everything. I go get everything, you know, everything. Anything the baby could possibly have, I go get it. I set it up at the penthouse down here in the city. But I'm making shit clear. That I'm making shit clear. Right you know, here. You know, but I'm making shit clear. I'm making it up. And this is the thing. And I'm, and I'm glad y'all know. Here, here, come here. And I'm, and I'm glad. No, no, I'm not scared. Look, and I'm glad she walked out. So as you can see, nobody was put out. And me calling, me calling the police. That's like for my safety. Because this what I'm, because this what I'm dealing with. Right? It's a real deal, cuckoo, cuckoo. Look, look, this, this is a real deal. Like shout it really. Cuckoo, mm -hmm. and she's still here, so nobody was put out. The woman is crazy. Nobody was put time. out. No, this ain't no. We ain't got to make this a, a sexist thing. I forced him to be with me. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this, go ahead. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't nothing question. new. This just me. You know this just me clearing it up. Cause she not about to tell us. I can okay. show you. I can show you. You begging me to stay here, so it's not. It's not. Talking about you miss me, come back home, all this stuff. I already left your ass. You can see, you can see who cool yeah, her, and who not. Cool. Like, I'm, I'm but, but this is my thing. This is my thing. Time. They didn't make. Okay. They did not make okay. Shawty leave, and somebody need to come make Shawty leave. Oh, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. leaving. Sorry, but guess you what, what I'm guys? Saying. I'm trying somebody, to go to the house to get my baby's clothes. Somebody need to make Shawty leave. I'm telling me I can't go to the house to get my baby's clothes because I only have four outfits for her because I want to leave. So stop showing me, bro. <laughs> We wanted to get on live to talk shit and, and put everybody in our business trying to act like we're not, we haven't been together. We we're haven't been together. together. Okay. Okay, Jonathan. We haven't been together. You're not, um, you, you, you don't know what's going on? I don't know what's going on. Oh my God, this is so funny. That was the sound. Oh my God, how you gonna go you know, back in the room right you there? You dealing right with a right real nigga, just not, hey, listen, listen, like listen. Like as if I'm not gonna come out here and talk. I'm gonna oh, let y'all see what's going on, like. This is, this is my this is my reality. Such a cap ass man. This is my reality. This is so such look. a cap ass man. He wants to fuck me and fuck his baby mother and fuck all these Charlotte hoes and fuck all this shit. And me, I'll be okay with that, guys. And me come back and live Can here stop and stay me? in this Can fucking house. Me? With our child. I don't want you to stay up. Okay. Yeah, I know you tried to kick me out. This yesterday. one of them real. This one of them real. This one of them real, this one of them real movies, yeah. man. Y'all look, look tune, tune in and see what we dealing with. Uh -huh.
Shout it really cuckoo for cuckoo yeah, really plus cool. real life. Cool. It ain't, I'm, I'm not born. Do your thing. I'm not, woman. I'm not I'm not I'm not trying to make me look bad because no ass is trying to kick me out to go to a hotel with our three month baby. What? Listen. What? Listen. You just don't. I got. I got. I got the entire night. Shout it. Can I? Yeah, can yeah. I do my live? Dude? No. No. Go ahead. Do your live. That's why the folks got to come get her out of here, man. No, I'm leaving. Trust me, I'm leaving. God. But I need my shit really here, so I can live here forever. Why do you have Why do you have stuff in my house? I've been trying to get you to leave my house for a week. I had a whole closet in your house. I had a whole closet in your house. So listen. I had a whole closet. I have an underwear drawer, idiot. I have a side of the fucking sink in your bathroom. Stop acting like I just came into your life and just fucking, oh my God. You're so much, bro. So funny. How you gonna go in live with me in the other room thinking I ain't gonna come out and talk? I'm not tripping on you coming out. Why are you still here? You got to leave. This is real life. This is not, not the shit with your My parents. No, I'm let's get you baby. one now. Do you yeah. need help? Let's no, get you a jet. You have to leave. Charlie got to go. Like, what's up? I can't leave. I can't leave. I can't leave. I can't leave. I've been sitting up all night. I can't get no sleep. This is. This is get out. This is get out mixed with. I'm not trying to be. Listen. You're not. You're not. He's a great father. Okay. Yeah, you know that, David. Okay. He's a great father, right? He's a great father. Okay. No, he's a great father, right? Sure. She's a crazy bitch. You wasn't my. You wasn't my girl. I wasn't your girl. Damn. I wasn't your girl. You ain't never been my girl. My brother is right there. My brother. Don't call me his girl all the time. Don't you call me his girl all the time, Darius? Don't there, ask your people. There, they know me as your fucking there, girl. What you, what you, what you know, Shawty, is, Darius? Oh, my God. <laughs> what you know, Shawty? Hey, his brother do look like That's crazy. Oh. Bro, oh. Hey, look, bro. This nigga know they had that phone out, yeah. man. That's funny. This is some trap of, this some trap of black nigga shit playing gone wrong. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah, this is trying to trap a nigga gone wrong. I'm not trying to going. trap a nigga? Are you crazy? Shout you just came at me last night, you idiot. Shout it, you begging me. You be, you you be just begging me. You came at me last night, you idiot. This is Jerry. Somebody tell Maury to call I Banger, man. Let me run up a quick 10 yeah, okay. Let me run up. Let me run up a quick 10 yeah, Somebody tell Maury to call me, man. Let's put this me. shit on Maury. Shout it, Maury. Maury material. Get up out my crib. Come on, get off my table. Get off my This is all here. Get up on my so table, shout it. Oh my god, no. No, this shit staying on call them people to come get no. shout it about my spot. Go ahead, Please, call them to get you and your child out the spot. Go ahead. Call I'm them. stuck. Hey, help. 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 <laughs> help. <laughs> help. Hey. Help, help me, crazy, nigga. Hey. So Why you sitting there? Do something. Do something. <laughs> Do something, bro. And where's my baby? Oh, you don't you see what I'm saying? Like, Steph, come on. Your baby is. I just put her, go back, go with, go with her, go. No, you know what I'm not talking about my baby. Like girl, girl. Ain't, no, ain't nobody even a part of my pregnancy. You weren't a part of my pregnancy. You don't need to tell nobody nothing. The fuck? See, she don't want me to put out her real business with her and her family got going okay, on. That's the real cool. issue. That's not nothing to do with us. This girl got a real, okay, you know, yeah, a real Matilda story okay. type okay. shit going on, you know. That I tried to save my child from. Save your child. She got to save her face. Her family got to save her face. My family's not in the industry. Me yeah. being in the industry well, that take care of my family, it's a different. Old, sorry. That's why I didn't want to. Hey, look. Right? Yeah, yeah, I didn't. You know, mm. I didn't. I didn't skew in the wrong thing. I got yeah. to deal with what come with that. Yeah. But my last name, Kirk, is what I do. Okay. So I take whatever come with that full responsibility. But shout it, it's cuckoo for cocoa. Okay. Shout is cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. And Shout is not my girl. I ain't never been my girl. It's my side bitch. It's your what? No, my it's side bitch. Shout is a certified side bitch. Not, not, not. It's fucking embarrassing me like that. Shout is a certified side Shut bitch. Up. Just trying to act like she Now, let, let's take it up. Her parents know she's my side bitch. Everybody knows she's a side bitch. She don't want y'all to know she's a side bitch. She got to save her face. She got to crash all the way out. Call them folks. Save me. Help. You see how Charlie went storming off when that truth came out. Listen, so let me finish telling y'all what I'm telling y'all. Miss me with all that. I'm not going. I had to show y'all. I'm not going. Shout it crazy. 
I'm not gonna be the one to, mm, to play that game. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm gonna take care of the kids. And if this will come with it, this will come with it. Let's try to be obsessed with my other baby mama. Stalking, stalking my, my first baby mama, goddamn. Interfering with the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm raising my child, my oldest child, like. That shit burned out, you know. I'm a grown man with standards, you know what I'm saying? I'm a grown man with standards. And regardless of how shit play out, you know what I'm saying, or what situation I'm putting in, I'm going to stand on the business. And me standing on the business means me doing everything to take care of a kid, cool. If the mama is set up the way the mama's set up, that's my work. I got to put in. That's my responsibility, you know. I'm the one got myself into that, so I got to, you know, I got to deal with that accordingly, but at the same time, we're not going for, we're not going for none of that, for that shit turning into me getting accused of this and looking like that. No. The public got caught because Shorty was in here, because Shorty was in here running around doing crazy shit. And hitting me. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is not, you are not my girl. Like, you got to look at Shorty. It's crazy. Posted. I don't got to listen. That's Three cool. Years ago, and I'm not your girl. Post Masterpiece. What the fuck? It. Why the fuck did you have me in the video? Okay, whatever, Nicole. Whatever, bro. Why would you have me around your family? Whatever, bro. Why would you have me in your house? Why would you have me have a closet in look your at home? Why would you have me shit. have a bathroom? Okay, look, we're gonna check out right now. I'm, you know, y'all got my perspective. Yeah. I gotta get back to pushing yeah, the new project ahead. out. That's why. That's why. Y'all be good. Go stream. That's look why. like something. That's why. Wow. Man, that's a lot to freaking unpack, man. Let me, uh, woo, uh, grief, Amber. Yo, what's good? What's good? What up, everybody? Samantha's in the building. What up, Samantha? Hello. hello. Hey, y'all. What's up? What's up? Yeah, we, uh, we're letting everybody look at the um, at the little incidents that's been uh, taking place or whatnot. We actually have one more side, man. So we had the first video when they went live. I guess that was during the altercation. And then we seen uh, the baby side. We'll let everybody see uh, the baby side or whatever. That was like a 17-minute video of her. Her still kind of acting, acting crazy, not really making her case any better and now we have her side all right and i believe this happened uh i believe she she went live i believe this is the night of we're gonna let everybody everybody see this did everybody get a chance to uh to see those those other two videos no yeah no yeah yes What's happening, yo? All right. What up? What up? What's going on, Devontae? What's happening? What's happening? What's up, ladies? We got, we got Wait, one that ain't JoJo. Who's that? This is Miss Samantha. She, oh, Samantha, didn't you go to school with us? Yes, I did, but I graduated in 2010. Yeah. She went to Northwestern? Yeah, she came out yeah. like 15 years after. She was like, she was but, like. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Samantha, <laughs> she was quiet. She had a she had a uh, a twin brother. She was she's a twin. What a twin brother name? Sam. Sam. Ooh, Sam. Said Sam. Sam. Yeah. You may have been gone though, Devon. I think you had already left. I believe. I mean, I remember some uh, some uh, people that was a grade below us. But well, I you was quiet, remember. so like he said, yeah, you got to remember Fort. You got to remember Northwestern ain't like Fort Mill. I mean, you black and everything. I, I, you know, if you was at Fort Mill, I definitely would remembered you. But yeah, Northwestern, it was full of black folks. So I, <laughs> <laughs> you could have been anybody in far in between. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and share this last video for everybody to check out real quick before we jump into this thing. And this is from Miss Danny herself. All right. I feel like I need to go on live because at this point it's already out there, and I feel like 
I'm never going to speak ever again. And I feel like I might as well just let go. And I just feel like it's so unfair, this situation, because this whole time I did nothing but straight with this man and tried, tried, you know what I'm saying? Tried nothing but genuine, pure love for this man from the jump, from the jump three years ago, from the and of course, all this internet, all this, everything always was something in our relationship. And it's definitely unfortunate. We have a child, so it's just like, it's just very unfortunate. But I just, it ain't fair. My whole everything, y'all think I'm a bird because of this. I feel like I need to go on lock. I did this and that. Like, no, I was never that. It was never that. And I ain't here to clear nothing with nobody because I don't give what nobody thinks about me. But at the end of the day, like, I've never spoken on anything. I've never addressed anything because I don't want to bring attention to it. But it's always the narrative on what it is because they think this is the type of girl I am. This is that. No. So, no. Okay. And um, <sighs> out of nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. And I'm trying so hard to just I did this and that like I tried to make work. I tried to, you know, for my baby, the best situation, but this ain't the best situation at all, bro. At all. I deserve so much better. I really do. So I hope, God, please, I pray that this is the last situation. This is the last time because not it. It's not. Every single time I come back into it, it's not it. It's love because I completely love that man, but it's not it. It don't matter how much you love somebody. If it if it ain't right, it's never going to be right. And when someone's not ready for something, it's never going to be right. And you can't force somebody to be ready for something they're not ever going to be ready for. He's okay with having five, six. But it's like, nah. I was brought up different. I ain't, mm -mm, I ain't going. I tried to make, I will get out. I will leave. I don't even have a place in LA no more. I done dropped everything for my baby to have a good life and be in a nice, for her to know her dad, but mm -mm, I will go figure it out. Like I always have since I've been young, never depended on a man never nothing i will figure it out. so and that's it i'm gonna keep i ain't never buy the internet but if i don't give he want to record me talk about i'm gonna have this then put a statement 10 minutes after it's going on the cloud appeared at the end of and some weird right there like he was playing so mm. All right. There it is, man. This is uh hold on. There, you come. there we go. All right, we're gonna welcome JoJo to the group. Y'all give give it a second, Joe. Uh, <laughs> this no, that's Devontae's what's the name? Yo, what's going on, everybody? I just wanted to let uh the audience see everything that was going on or whatever before we get into these topics. How everybody doing? Pretty good, pretty good. What's up? So, how them workouts been, man? Everybody been getting it in? Everybody been working out? Mm hmm. Yeah. So, Matthew, we got to get you on that muscle. boat, man. Yeah. <laughs> you, you see the muscle jumping? Before we get into this uh, the baby situation, man, uh, I wanted to talk real quick about Cam Newton, man. 
Cam Newton just just came back. He had his first game. It was a way they did win. And his first two touches went for touchdowns. A rushing TD and a passing TD. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that the Panthers could be Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl prospects or champs? Um, this year? Yeah, this year. This year. No. Definitely playoffs, man. Definitely playoffs, man. Because they started off real good, man. They started off undefeated, man. What is it? Four, they went four games, five games undefeated. And then yeah. it has uh, some technical difficulties with some injuries and things like that. But I think with Cam being added to the piece, man, to the team, I think they definitely go make it in the playoffs at least. Yeah, playoffs. And he definitely he definitely proved himself, man. You beating the number one team in the NFL? Team that was 81? Come on now. Yeah, don't, don't now. sleep on this the quarterback that they got because he did a good job too. I can't even remember his name. But the uh the young man Yeah, me either. Yeah. I don't know his name, but man, that that was a phenomenal performance and kicked it. I mean they blew him out. <laughs> yeah, so, so y'all saying no Super Bowl. No Super Bowl. We shouldn't expect the Super Bowl. This... Nah, I, nah. If the if the whole team step up, like it, it can't just be Cam by itself. If the whole team step up and they really believe in themselves, yeah. You never know. They look like a completely gotta, different team on Sunday. A completely different. Yeah, I I got to see them go up against uh the Buccaneers, man. If they can get past Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, then yeah. But that that team right there, man. He, mm mm mm, that's something you else know, right there. You know, they say that's why the reason why uh, Cam went to the Patriots. He was trying to learn some of their secrets, and then he came back to Carolina after. He learns. <laughs> he must learn something. <laughs> It was a setup. <laughs> it was a setup, man. It was a setup. He must have learned something, boy. I'm telling you, because that man, that was a that was the old Cam Newton. Hey. Back when they went undefeated and went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. He definitely getting there now. It was one pass where he could have made a better pass, though. He said he he said it wasn't quite there just yet. That his arm. Because he could have he could have got your boy in the end zone, man. So he's he's still he's still getting warmed up or whatnot. He he still got a little bit more warming up to do before he get before he get all the way back there. Have hey, you guys did seen you check that game? Oh, okay, oh, my bad. I thought no. since we were football, I was gonna ask you. Did you get a chance? I ain't get a chance to see it, but did you, did you get a chance to see Odell Beckham's first performance with the uh the Rams? Nah, nah, I ain't get to see it. I just seen that they they got their butt whooped. So I. I don't oh. know if he. I, I didn't get the chance to see the highlights or anything like that, so I don't know if he was able to, you know, show show off and everything. I'm Pete, have y'all seen uh, or heard anything about Will Will's new book and the uh, the best shape of my life on Netflix? Mm mm. I ain't seen Man, that. that. That thing off the chain, dog. Oh, uh, what that, is it called? It's on Netflix now. Yeah, it's called Best Shape of My Life. Uh, he's writing. Yeah, he's writing a book about about YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Oh, YouTube, 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 YouTube. My bad. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube Originals. That's my bad. That's my fault. That's my fault. Yeah, YouTube. It's on YouTube Originals, man. Yeah, I actually, I, I checked it out, man. That thing was off the chain, man. A lot of stuff uh, that we've seen about Will. He was basically saying that he actually he created this image about himself, and none of it was really true. None of that stuff about, you know what I'm saying, Will Smith was was true. So he's coming out with his book to show people who he really is. And I'm going to say this, man. If if the book is anywhere near as good as the little series, the little short series that he had, that thing going to be off the chain, man. And Oprah actually said it was the best that she has ever read. He's a smart man, man. Using his publicity that his wife created. To make you know, to make a business move like that, that's that's smart, man. Yeah, it's tough, man. You don't have a whole lot of people interested in every, you know. Yeah, for real. All right. Have you guys heard about Space Hay yet? Ooh. Space Hay, it's like MySpace. Mm-mm. Not no, not really. I've heard people saying something about MySpace, but uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's called it's called Space Hay, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna create an account just 
for the heck of it because back on MySpace, you know, you can create like a little song. So as soon as people come to your, your little page or whatever, you got the little song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got to make it official, that man. They got to have like a, a guy named Tom or or Sam or something that's, that's automatically your friend when you first get on <laughs> <laughs> get rid of him, boy. They better not make a Karen. <laughs> right. I wonder why all them years MySpace was popular. Why Tom ain't never changed his picture though? <laughs> Too much he had money. that same picture with that dirty ass t shirt on. Like that peaky smile. <laughs> huh? That may not be Tom for real. <laughs> it may not have been. I mean, he had that same creepy smile with that dirt, that same T-shirt on. I'm like, are you serious? You I'm making all you, you, know, you got all the money. Change the shirt. That's what I, I'm wondering. What happened to all his money? Like, what is he doing? What is he doing now? That would be interesting. Somebody should look up and see like what time up to now. I know he made a lot of money off my stage. Cause we all was on there, twenty four seven. Yes, boy. yes. Man, I kept my stuff updated. Mm. Well, what about the metaverse? What about the metaverse? Y'all don't heard about that? I heard about that. Uh, Facebook's supposed to be doing that. Yeah. Y'all think y'all gonna participate in it? No. Oh, yeah, okay. I will. But let me throw one thing in there about this uh, space, space hay. Space hay, yeah. Space hay, they are on the stock market at $18 right now. And I'm telling you, it's gonna take off. Where the freak did they come from? God, dog. They well, they're under they're under a holdings company, but they oh. are on the stock market. It's eighteen dollars and forty two cent. Wow, that's crazy. Shoot, what's what's the what's the? How, uh, I got uh Robin Hood. I'm trying to figure out which one to go to. Can I get that on Robin Hood? You probably can't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Robin Hood is limited. Yeah, it's very it for them to get they they stuff up to speed. Bless they, bless they we, we're gonna talk about that off channel. I'm I'm trying to invest today. You know what I'm saying? Get about two, three of them, maybe five of them. You know. So y'all saying that y'all accumulate to about a hundred out. Y'all wouldn't <laughs> participate in metaverse. Y'all said y'all. Oh, wouldn't? oh yeah. I probably I, I mean, wouldn't. I've actually already um created my own new stuff. Video. What? You can do that? Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? What yeah. the heck, man? What did you like? What did you? What did you go to? Where did you go to for that? I mean, it's, well, I was walked through it, so, but um, yeah, what the I already get been in the so room. How now. is it? Yeah, how, yeah, I mean, how it, is it? it? It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Um, I really hadn't really explored, explored. Like it took us a little bit of time to make it. We was all on the um Zoom call, and we all made it. Um, well, oh, they all had theirs talk. made, but. Yeah, yeah, I already have mine. So you already made your avatar. Yo, that's yeah. crazy, man. This is this is crazy, dog. For real. It's dope though. Yeah, they say you're supposed to have like some they're they're creating some goggles right now that's gonna be like super comfortable for you to be able to see and hear everything. Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. They say it's supposed to be out maybe sometime next year. Like they're gonna have everything situated or whatever, and you'll be able to actually go and you know invite people over to your house. <laughs> Yo, I, might, I might do that, man. That do sound. I'm over here bugging <laughs> out, man. So it you can invite like people. Animated. Yeah, you can you can invite people over to your house, but they're only gonna see like what you set up. So say for if you buy like a 70 inch screen TV or whatever inside of the metaverse, that's what they'll see. You set up like a little couch or something like that. If your house has white walls, but you wanted to be blue walls. That's what they'll see when they're in the inside of your, your your house in the metaverse. So that means you possibly gonna have to purchase some type of technology yeah. to use it to its full advantage. Money. Well, uh, you you done seen things like uh like uh, Amazon, right? When right. Amazon yeah. when they when they say uh if you want to see how big something is gonna be in your house or whatever, you can go ahead and and look at it through like that little vision oh. thing, whatever. Yeah. So it'll it'll be set up something something like that. You know, hopefully. Hopefully they'll have like if you have like a, a shoe or something in the floor, you'll still be able to hopefully see that or something. So you won't trip, trip over and, and bust your damn head off. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, oh man! But it's gonna be set up though, man. I, I mean, I'm kind of interested uh, to see what it's gonna look like. But um, if you guys haven't had a chance yet, go check out Mister Who's the Boss. And he explains like what the metaverse is, like all the good things that's gonna come 
come from it and the possible bad things. Because he was saying something about Facebook. You know, they haven't been the best when it comes to privacy. You know what I'm saying? Sharing people's information and all that other stuff. But with the metaverse, that thing is going to be able to monitor your brain waves. Oh, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's too much. <laughs> this is a bit much. <laughs> Yo, your boy got up and left. Like, hell no. Oh, I, was trying to, I thought y'all was trying to me- uh, measure my brain waves at that moment. I had to walk away for a second. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But the, re- the reason why they say they're trying to monitor your brain waves, like say for instance, if you want to send like a text message or or anything like that, you'll be able to think it and it'll actually do it within the app. Like say for instance, if I want to send a text message to my mom or whatever. Hey mom, I'm I'm at the grocery store or whatever. All I gotta do is think it and it'll send it'll actually send that message to her or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was actually a movie that came out like this. I forgot what the name of it was. Where you put on like a little headset, you sit down in your house or whatever, and then you go into like a virtual world. Do y'all remember what that was? Mm-mm. What was the name of that, man? I want to say it was uh Was it a movie? Yeah, it was a movie. Yeah. Player, player, player one or something. Yeah, that's something similar to it, but it was something else though. It was it was it was another one. I want to say like Mel, was it Mel Gibson that played in it? Mm-hmm. I remember it was a, it was an older white man. It was an older white man that, that played in it, man. Let me see, Mel. Let me, let me see, Mel. No, nah, it wasn't Mel Gibson. I don't know who the hell I'm thinking. I'm thinking about somebody else. <laughs> Bruce Willis. You talking about Bruce Willis in Fifth Element? Bruce. It was Bruce Willis. Yeah, it was Bruce Willis, but it was a different movie. Yeah, that's who it was. Bruce Willis, man. Was it, was it the Fifth Element? I don't know. It was. It was I was like thinking that. the Fifth Element with uh Chris Tucker in there. When he was a drag. Oh, Lord. Hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> they was somewhere out of space. All right. So let's go ahead and get to the net net of it, man. That's what everybody been pretty much waiting on, dog. Let's go ahead and talk about the baby. So you guys have had a chance. The people have had a chance to uh, to see what was been going on or whatever between them two. And I want you guys to kind of chime in on what, what are y'all thoughts on – What's what's happening right now? Because that is pretty much the talk of the town. Everybody is talking about the baby and what's her name? Danny? Danny Lay. Yeah, Danny, Danny Lay. Lay. Danny Lay. Yeah. Oh, her name all up. Good great. I um so I, I briefed. I, I watched a couple videos brief. I saw uh the video of the baby mama, the dark skinned baby mama. I think that's I, I'm not sure how many baby mamas you got, but it was one particular one of the dark skin baby mama, and she was talking about how they were. I guess they were still together. That she they were together, but then they separated. But they he would still come home back to her, and yeah. uh, because he would be on the road, you know, doing his freak shit and everything. Mm-hmm. And so they they still had ties together, like they still was you know together, but separate. You know what I'm saying? I guess you call it a complicated relationship. And then he basically got with Danny Lay. And it seemed to me that Danny Lay knew the situation of the nature of his relationship with his baby mother. And I guess she kind of thought she had pussy power to remove him from his baby mama. And the pussy power was denied. It wasn't strong enough. And uh, to my understanding that uh, (laughs) she had the baby with him and, you know, fell in love with him. And she was thinking that, Okay, we got this child together. Maybe we should, to my understanding, maybe we should just uh, make a family and try to, you know, possibly move to the next level and get married. But she already stood, stood the nature of his his past that, you know, he get he got a couple women pregnant, but he don't make a long term with them. You know, so he go from chick to chick. He don't marry none of this. He don't marry none of this women that he's, you know, he has children with, and he's not looking for marriage right now. He's trying to build his career. And she kind of understood what was going on, but the fact that he was treating her like uh, like someone that he was in relationship with, which kind of confused her. Mm-hmm. I mean, because as you've seen, I mean, they was all on his Instagram page and her Instagram page. They was out here cited at different award shows, this and that, and he showed her around the family and stuff like that. But it seemed like the baby mama was like, no, I already knew about her. You know what I'm saying? Me and her, we had beef. We had this, you know, talk back and forth, blah, blah, blah. 
But it seemed to me that Danny Lake kind of knew what she was getting herself into. Mm-hmm. You know, she kind of thought that, you know, maybe if we had this baby together, maybe that he he had changed his mind and maybe we can actually, you know, make this work out. And the baby was like, no, you just a side piece. This it's not gonna happen. You, you know what I'm saying? I got a man chick. You you just a side piece. You know what I mean? So yeah. Right, okay. okay. Uh, Samantha, go ahead and chime in on chime in on this real quick. What you what are your thoughts about what's going on right now? I feel like that. I feel like that this is a normal situation that any you know human being go through. I mean, it's just out there for one because they're celebrities. Um, now I am going to say I do feel like the baby is wrong because he obviously led her on. Um, I'm a woman, so I know for a fact, unless she just like simply back crazy, she had feelings for him, and those feelings just don't emerge on their own. So he led her on and told her he loved her because I seen the video where he said, I love you too. And the only thing I say hold Danny Lee accountable for is knowing what type of man the baby was when she met him. He was already dealing with somebody when you met him. And so there's a saying is you basically lose your man the way you meet him. So -hmm. he was obviously already in a relationship or on and off, had all of, had all of this drama. And like I said, I just feel like she was led on. Okay. All right. Uh, Jojo, you want to go next? So it's an interesting situation. So they're both in the industry. They're both around. You know how it is in the industry. I think they're always around um, a bunch of people, a bunch of groupies. Life. And whatever, whatever. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the, the type of lifestyle they live. Um, but I also think whatever they had going on and, um, you know, regardless if they were in a relationship or however, what really matters is if you are able to give that man what he needs when he's down. And I felt like the baby been going through it with this whole cancel culture and it was her time to step up as a woman. And I feel like she didn't do that, especially from what I've seen, the drama she was bringing him, putting her hands on him. Um, you know, you have you have to step up in that situation and that whatever you're providing that man, it has to change because he needs a little bit more and he needs support. And she was pretty much beating him down when the whole world was beating him down so the fact that it ended and the fact that he didn't want nothing to do with her you know what I'm saying even Devante you know you saying uh, he's not looking for marriage you never know what a man's looking for maybe he just didn't find it in her or any of those other women because when a man finds the woman he wants to be with that's it it don't matter you know where he is if he's aligned the baby is aligned with his purpose that ain't gonna never stop but I can tell you that definitely wasn't the woman for him. Um, and, and that was from, from jump. So I, I think it's it's on both of them. You know what I'm saying? Him acting like he wasn't in a relationship or he wasn't with her. That's one thing. But he clearly made it clear when it's over, it's over. And she showed her behind when she should have been a support system for him. So that's why she getting his butt. The kids. <clears throat> All right, cool. cool. Uh, that's where you want to go ahead and chime in real quick. Okay, so just from outside looking in, I would I would say that they may not have officially been in a relationship, and who's to say that they wasn't? Because what they were doing on social media is portraying to be in a relationship prior to that happening so either way it go he's now he's trying to say she's a side chick side chick that's crazy simply because side chicks don't get that kind of treatment side chicks ain't gonna be in living in your house at all regardless of what y'all got going on if it's a side piece it's a side piece you keep it as that you don't get no side you I ain't gonna say that. You might get the side piece pregnant. 
But you know what I'm saying? It, it, at the same time, you wouldn't have been put, posting her on social media. You know what I'm saying? You won't be saying, I love you. So, yeah, it was more than what it was. Things got complicated. Things got a little bit, you know, heated and stuff. And it's a normal situation. People do it every day. They're just not celebrities. And they don't get that much publicity. And I don't feel like, I feel like he should not have um, went to social media with this. I feel like that's their private business, regardless if y'all have ups or downs. It makes him look bad because you being in the situation that you're in, you know, be, being who you are, you have an image to uphold. And you just downplayed your child's mother. Regardless of it, regardless of anything, at the end of the day, that that's his child and her child, and they're still going to have to be the child parent. Um, you don't go and publicize your home business, regardless if y'all are together or not. Cause she she was saying that she wasn't trying to take it to so, social media, and she was like, unfortunately, it's here. You know. And I don't feel like I, I don't feel like she did anything wrong because we don't really know what's going on between them. So I'm not judging her, but you also do have to be be accountable for the type of person that you're dealing with as well. So if she knew that those things were going on between, you know, him and dealing with other women while you are supposedly together or whatnot, either you're going to accept it or you're not going to accept it. And she chose to accept it, so now you get that, you play the hand you dealt. That's what she dealt herself, so that's what she got. <clears throat> All right, so let me let me go ahead and go real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and clear this stuff up, a side piece. So yes, you can be a side piece and in somebody's house. Again, we are talking about celebrities. So that's not his only crib. That was just his crib in Charlotte, his penthouse in Charlotte. So you can still be a side piece and still be shown around and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, she's not a she's not a, a bad looking girl or whatever. And a piece of ass can last longer than a minute. You know what I'm saying? A side piece, you can you can be around there long term. Uh, a piece of ass may get pre- y'all might get pregnant. Well, she may be she may get pregnant, depending on if y'all having unprotected sex. Now, communication is key. All right, if you in a relationship, if y'all well, no, let me scratch that. If y'all are in a relationship, both of y'all should know that, not just one person. All right, so y'all done actually communicated and said like, listen, it's just me and you, and that's that's how it's going all going to be. But the problem is she got into that doggone situation knowing what type of guy he was and knowing that he was he he already had ties to you know his previous I don't like to say baby mama but his, the the previous chick he had got got pregnant or whatever and she already knew going back they was going back and forth on social media before um they Danny Lee and him got together anyway so the proof was in the pudding from the beginning where you already knew what you was getting into so you need to take accountability for your actions, man. I'm not. I'm definitely not saying that he wasn't wrong because I do not believe that any guy, especially the mother, you shouldn't be disrespecting her like that. You know what I'm saying? Calling her out of her name in any type of way. So, you know, I, I ain't even gonna go down that rabbit hole. But the reason why he posted and went live was because of what? He had she had put her hands on him and he had to call the police. He needed documentation. He said he Just feared for his safety. Yeah, and at the end of the day, it's who is whoever gets to that dog on that, that uh telephone first. Because if she would have made a call and be like, he lunged at me, oh trust me, they was coming to get his ass. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gonna say this, man. I I do not disagree with him with him going live and, and recording or whatnot because you never know, man. And the reason why he called the police was because you know he fe- he feared for himself, man, for 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 his own safety. And I'm going to say this, that girl was acting crazy. Even on the video when he went live, the uh, well, all, every single last time they went live. But the second video really showed, like, she really wanted to put her hands on him. She really wanted to put, put her hands on him. So I got a question. 
guys guys that that won't call well no 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 somebody somebody actually said that i'm, I'm actually say that if a woman is being abusive to a man what do you suggest he do call the police walk away i would say leave yeah if that's his house if that's his house go in the bathroom lock the door call the police telling you fear for your life go go ahead man or or bear or barricade you know barricade room where it's a lot Oh, go, go ahead, Jojo. I don't know what Samantha got over. I don't know what she's doing. So you said if a... Oh, sorry. What's the question? If a man is being... If a woman is being abusive to a man, what do you suggest he do? And the reason why I'm asking is because a woman said, most men deserve it. They piss women off by doing dumb-ish. Wow. <laughs> At the same day, it's abuse. Call the police. Right. I... I feel like there's no discrimination to abuse. Like, um, if a man has been abused and y'all are in the same house and you can't leave, go through the court process, get any, you know, go try to get an eviction if she's in your house. You know, it's a proper process to do things when you've established, you know, that you two are staying in the same address. But I definitely feel like, yeah, leave for sure and call the police. I mean, a lot of times men, well, there's a lot of men victims that are going through domestic violence, but they don't report it because of their pride. I work with domestic violence victims um, for my job, and I do have quite a bit of male clients. Um, but a lot of times men just don't report the domestic violence that they're going through. So it's not uncommon. Facts, facts. I actually got something I want to report. It's from some years ago, but I want to. Oh, <laughs> but you know, I mean, people was clowning him for uh, for calling the police. Mm -hmm. So whatever, whatever. But it's like you said, if it had been the other way around, and she had got that phone first, she could have easily told a lie. That'd have been his career. Mm -hmm. That'd have been, you know, what I'm saying, even more cancel culture for him. So I think he, I think he took the high road and he did the right thing instead of putting his hands on her and returning the favor. I feel like maybe he he, he did what he had to do to protect himself instead of broadcasting it to the world. He could have just easily, you know, picked up his phone and recorded the incident. Well, she, and again, she was also saying that she was gonna, uh, she was gonna do something to end his career as well. So I think, I think he put it on social media because one, she had posted, you know, she was going and saying stuff on social media, and even if you do stuff in private now, people always, you know, it's always gonna be half the fans that say he did something, half the fans that said she did something. When he went on social media. You could easily see who was the one that was provoking. Yeah, even though he was recording, she knew he was recording. She was trying to hit, ready the, you know, going like yeah, this and, and stuff. Like she was finna hit him. Throw your true so I think that's to save him from cancel culture, so he can have yeah, proof dude. in the court and proof for his fans. Yeah, she, but I don't yeah, think he still should have been social media. But still. Yeah, I'm, I'm like this. Show show how they is in real time, dog. Like, cause I'm like this. If you're not crazy mm -hmm. and nothing is going on, you doing you doing right, or whatever. Then me going live ain't gonna. What is gonna do? What is they gonna do? You gonna still you gonna still show your true colors, right? So go ahead. But I didn't I didn't see her really acting crazy. I see her acting like a normal hurt woman, honestly. Oh wait a minute! You, you didn't you didn't see her acting crazy? She she was she wanted to hit him. You can easily mm -hmm. tell that she wanted. To hit him. But again, she's sitting there getting upset with a situation that she already knew what it was before she was getting herself into it. So why are you complaining and getting well, I mean, mad? When she you knew, already knew, she knew the was. situation, but that still doesn't change the fact that she fell in love with this man. And like I said, feelings are not imaginary. She ain't just falling in love with this man. Off of nothing. He but you blame it. You blame it. You blaming like him for being him, though. And they had but something you, going on serious. But you, you, you. Well, she's getting upset, and she's mad at him for being who he was when she, when she got, got with him. Mm -hmm. 
If you don't, if you know a person is a dog, then you need, okay, and that's well, not what maybe, you're looking for. Maybe how guys do, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm all for you, baby. I ain't messing with nobody. I ain't. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. But, tell me, but tell me. she knew. Oh, but she talked to the baby mama baby. before they got together. Yeah, we're not gonna do that now. Wait a minute. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Uh, uh she she talked she talked to the baby mama before they got together. So he are, she already had understanding what he was about. And those those women, especially the baby, you got the blueprint. You see what happens in his doggone life all, all the time. You already know how this man operates. You got the blueprint. And before it even goes down to doggone rebel, you can at least do your doggone research and don't just listen to what a person say, but watch their actions, watch how they move. If it's not aligned with what you're trying to what you're trying to be with, the type of person you're trying to be with, then don't even get involved with those type of guys. I absolutely agree. I agree. I agree with that. Yeah, the rest of you making faces over there. What you what you what you, what you, what you <laughs> I see I see you making faces over I mean, there. I mean, no, I mean she she knew what she was getting into. At least three months in after dealing with him, she had three years. So, three years. Oh, that was three years. It didn't three years to get pregnant. Damn, I thought it was just a year. Damn. Damn. No. Oh. When she when the video that I seen with her crying and stuff, she was like, "Um, it's been three years." She she said three years. So oh, they've damn. been going back and forth for three years. But I'm sure he probably didn't show her what. He has recently. You get what I'm saying, but you gotta think about it. Mm. If it's been three years, she learned him. Not to mm. say that he hasn't switched up because he's had a lot of growth within the three last three years. You get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So she could have been there for him at that time. You know what I'm saying. You never know. But for them to be dealing with each other for three years, when she was saying. When she was saying that, so we not we wasn't together, so I wasn't your girl. I feel like she was. Wait, wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. But like he said, was. he said, he said, he said, he. I told this to your face that we not going steady. You know what I'm saying? I, I done told you this plenty of time. You trying to move your stuff in here? I done looked you in your eyes and told you. I don't that's believe that. That's not how we move. That. He said that in front of her, and she didn't disagree with it. Well, yeah, he, he said, said that, that he embarrassed her. her. The, but if Danny, the second video. Danny knew but my that she thing was is, indeed a side chick and he told her straight up, you're going to be my side chick, then no, I don't even think. No, I'm, I'm not talking thing. about the side chick thing, but I'm saying that he said that he looked her in her eyes and told her, we're not moving like that. You keep trying to move your stuff in here and you know we're not moving like that. And but again, hold on. I feel like that's what he's saying. We, we don't but listen, know listen, listen, listen. Let, that, that, like, take, take into account. You, said, of, you moved me down here. From, you know, mm -mm, from nope. the, no, 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 no. When, when he was telling you, but when he was telling you back at the what's the the reason why he came over, well, the reason why she came with him was because of what? She had it out with her family. They had a disagreement. They had mm -hmm. a big argument. And she showed up with her bags. And her and his uh his assistant was telling, don't leave her in this this toxic uh situation. Go ahead and fly that baby. He said, me being the good nigga that I am, and I think he's been a little extra with that. But me being the good the good dude that I that I was, <laughs> I flew them out here, and you know what I'm saying. I went ahead and paid for you know a, a private doctor and made sure that baby had everything that that baby needed. So the reason why she was in that penthouse with him, the reason why she flew back from the DR to to Charlotte was because of the situation that was going on in, in the DR. So that was the reason why she was there. He was trying to tell her to stay in the DR because your mom, y'all going back and forth and all that other stuff. Y'all got some issues y'all need to work out, handle that or whatever. And then, you know, I'll just come back and uh, and see the baby when, it, when it's about to be born. Because he was about to fly his mom out there as well until he seen the toxic situation that was going on. Them going back and forth, her, her mom and, and her family. So, yeah, that that part I do believe. She came back with him. Now, mm -hmm. you got to also think about it. It's easy to tell somebody something over the phone when you're not with them. So making her believe that she was the only one when she's nowhere around and stuff oh, like that, me, she could have probably right. got he, that. When did he say that? Wait a minute, wait a minute now. Hey, don't, no, listen, when, when did he I say she was the only one? That's not a soon. But wait, tell me, tell me. Before, before we get down there, before, before we get down there, Desiree, though, just, just, just be honest. 
do you think that the baby, just from the outside looking in, do you think that the baby is the type of guy that's trying to settle down right now? Settle down? I'm not. No, I'm not saying he's trying to settle or, or, down. Or, or just, or, or just have one chick. Well, just say that you just you think he's the type of person that's just looking to have one chick right now. No, she knows that. But what I'm saying okay, is well, he could have been whispering I, I, sweet I, nothings in her ear. Is what I'm saying. What that was say? going intimate session in his face. When she got in his face, that became an issue because, I mean, like, men don't move how they want to move regardless. But then what? men don't like women nagging either. But because she was there, she was nagging. Three, it was three months. They had been, I, well, from what, from what I heard, it was three months they had been chilling together. And all of a sudden, she felt mm-hmm. like, like, you don't need to be talking to your baby mama or nothing because they... They said that she she was inboxing the baby mama trying to press her about what her and the baby had going on, right? So I think after the three months, she felt some type of way, like you know what? I'm gonna go. I've been I've been staying here. I got some drawers in the uh, I got my own closet. <laughs> I got my own bathroom now. I'm about to go ahead and take mm-hmm. over like the queen I'm supposed to be. Vanity mirror. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> she overstepped her boundaries. And when he when he mm-hmm. let her know and tried to put her back in her place, like, listen, now you already knew this. This is probably the first time that you done tried to do something like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and kill that noise right now. She probably felt some type of way and tried to put her hands on. Her. Come on, man, let's call a spade, a spade, a spade. Now you know what it is. She knew what it was. I got a baby bar. Exactly okay, so let's just be real. Listen, let's I got a baby bar. I'm living with him. I done cook. I done cook dinner for him. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I, I don't run the yeah, let's just be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. You're gonna be my man. Yeah, she, 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 she was expecting more than what he was giving because I'm sure she was there plenty of nights by herself. I mean, she had a choice but to be. But then she was still having sex with him, and when yeah. she realized that I ain't the only one he having sex with. Wait, wait, wait. Talk, then talk, you gotta think talk, about talk. it. This man up here. You talking about realize she already knew that though. She she already knew that. Yeah. Ain't no ain't no yeah, realize, but, like but, all of a sudden. But but, <laughs> but she Let's wasn't she wasn't in the same space as him. It's mm. different when you're in the same space as somebody and they doing it in your face versus you being in two different spots. And you're not seeing this person. They tell you anything over the phone, but when but she was seeing set, it for herself, why would she you set yourself up like that? But listen, but listen, she set herself up like that though, because from what from what she said, she had her own spot in was it Los Angeles or something? She gave that up in Cal. For, in Cali, she said Cali. Yeah, yeah. So she get she gave that up to you know what I'm saying. I guess try to seek some type of imaginary world where you know she was gonna fall in love with him and they were gonna settle down. And, come on, man. Like, come on, like this. This is I don't want to say it's, it's like a hood dude, man. What a hood dude type of mentality, man. Good grief, that, that guy is pretty much at the height of his career. He got all type of women throwing themselves at him, and come on, man. Ah, dog, oh, jeez, setting yourself up. You're setting yourself up, man. For failure. <laughs> you know, oh, damn well, you. you wasn't about to settle with you. At least not right now. Shit. Right, and I like I like what mm-hmm. and, well what JoJo said about you know what I'm saying when you think he would change though if he was the if he was the finer chick that 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 gave him everything. Mm. He's so focused on getting to where he want to be. I don't think he would at this point in time. No, because he's, he's not fine. stable. He might he might have found his purpose, but he's not. Stay, he's not where he wants to be. You know what I'm saying? He just he's just started getting the amount of clout that he won, but he's still going after some things that he wants, and he's only focused on that. You know what I'm saying? If he gets some, if he get a chick, you know what I'm saying? You know, that that kind of just helps stimulate his brain, his brain, you know, nice little nut up. All right, thanks. Let me go ahead and focus. But no, right now he's too focused on something else. A relationship, a steady relationship ain't ain't on his on his path right now. When he gets so settled off, every, when everything finally started to level off everything and, you know, everything, you know, kind of relaxed for his career and everything, then he'll probably find a, 
what's name, but he's too busy growing right now. You know what I'm saying? And it, what are you like? <laughs> he really ain't gonna have no time for a relationship. What are, what are you? I waiting also for? feel like maybe he could have like Danny at one point, um, because I also feel like he pro- he wouldn't be calling her crazy, you know, for no apparent reason at all. So maybe he found out the real, you know, her and. I'm just trying to look at it from all sides. Yeah. Yeah. Well, every man like that new new. Oh Lord. <laughs> Somebody get her. Somebody get her, man. Get her. Come on, man. get your belt out, man. Get, belt. Man. <laughs> get a belt. Email get like belt. that too now. Come on. <laughs> Email like I that. I honestly too. think um, you know, when when he's ready, he's ready. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whenever he feel like if 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 she had been somebody that he wanted to show more respect to, he would have shown more respect to her. But he didn't have no respect for her, right? So that's that's what she. Got. He's still growing up right now. Yeah, so. he didn't respect her, so that's what she got. Because him and him and his baby mama be having issues, but he don't disrespect her. Never. You don't see him disrespecting Never. her on social media. So it's it has to go with the type of woman. You know what I'm saying? Even if he has he that that woman in his life. You know he 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 gonna respect the woman. It, it's it's based on the woman who he gonna respect. Mm-hmm. And even mm-hmm. if he found that woman already, he's gonna protect the one that he wants to, to make yeah, sure I that she that. doesn't have to deal with the BS until he is ready. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna say the crazy thing that I've seen. I um I seen a girl put up a post or whatever, and it was like a guy was with me for. Seven, eight years. And he got with a girl, another another chick or whatever, and less than a year, they were engaged to be married. So if a woman, if he meets that that wife and she identifies her and she moves like a wife is supposed to move, I honestly believe, you know what I'm saying? God, we ain't too many guys just gonna pass that up. Because most guys are going to take a step back and they're going to look like she's moving completely different than, you know, most chicks that I done dealt with or whatever. And I think they'll they'll take a second look and a second thought if that chick is moving in a certain type of manner. So my question to y'all is, do, y- do y'all think that uh, if he found a white, the right chick that he, he'll settle down? Right now, at this I moment, he try it. <laughs> mm-hmm. He try it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know right about now. Does Ray say no? <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. Sorry, what was the question? Do you think he would settle down if he found the right person right now? Oh no. No, I need the book. I'm working on myself right now. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about this? The right? baby. He, he talking about the baby. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, she's trying oh, to make okay. this about her. She's no, I still this. don't think so. Oh, man. I'm like, she, he talking about the baby, not you, Miss Lady. She done pushed him out the way. I really can't hear that good because the volume is low. And I just put oh, my no. son up. Oh, no, you good. What what do you what do you think, Desiree? She's like, we still talking about the baby. He when you started from the bottom, now you here, and then you getting all that money, and you got you getting paid, and you got all these women wanting you. He mm. gonna settle down for a little minute. Nah, that's why he got all the babies mm. and all the baby mama checked off. Oh, yeah. He looks his best life. Oh my. He keep on having kids. He might not be able to get married. That ain't true. Oh, bro, go get married. He got <laughs> he got bread. He can take care of all the kids. Take, he can take care of several take different care. households. Yeah. <laughs> he, Hold on now. The podcast just went for a turn. What? Well, what she said. I didn't know people felt like that. Wait, say it again. Felt oh, like he, what? Not... Felt like what? I'm confused. If, uh, he has so you, many kids, he won't get married. 
a guy. A guy with what about I'm what? Just saying, kids? Like you know, how, it'll be harder. I mean, well, since he do got a lot of money, maybe yeah. But some people well, don't care about you know. Well, what's well, okay? But, let's look at uh, let's look at Nick Cannon. You think uh, somebody marry him? He got he got about ten kids now. What? Who? Yeah, Nick Who? Cannon. Who? Yeah, he got almost what? Almost I ten know. kids now. Damn near. Mike he had a couple of them the same year. I mean, he had like two or three kids born the same year with three three different women. Hmm. Seven. He had seven. Seven. That damn near ten. And he said he ain't gonna stop. <laughs> he said he ain't gonna stop having kids. He one of my favorite entertainers, man. I, I respect his hustle and everything. He take care of his kids, but bruh. <laughs> Goodness gracious. He about to start a whole village, all them damn kids he producing. All right, so we, we need we need a little help, man. There's some, some guys that's trying to uh they feel Chinese. like they didn't got their stuff together. But no, nah, it's, it's some guys that feel like they didn't got their self together financially. But they're mm -hmm. having some problems in the dating uh area. I was wondering, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna ask the women because I was like, let me. Let me get a woman's perspective. You don't want to hear from a guy. We're going to go straight to the source. What are some ideal dates or ideal date that a guy can take y'all on that y'all would be interested in? That y'all would actually enjoy? Not no uh, going to go watch paint dry. We can go like, we can go to like a wine tasting. We could go nope. to like a park. Nope. What you mean, no? <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead, dog. No, chime in. Let, let, let the guys know. <laughs> they listening to the podcast. wine tasting and card playing cards. Nobody I didn't say nothing about playing wine. cards. Okay, I thought I said her playing cards. Everybody, do y'all really you enjoy know what? wine Somebody tasting? Else though. I don't want to talk. No, I'm curious. I'm curious. Do do y'all really enjoy wine tasting though? Yeah, I, I guess do. they do. Yes. Huh. I never been wine taste. There must be some. There must be some drunk people. I like no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm, joking. <laughs> I'm messing with you. All right, what you said? Wine taste and what else? What else? What else? <laughs> well, I would like like to do like pottery. I would like that. You know how you can go do pottery or glass blowing. Something that I've never done. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. That's a good one. So in other words, Amanda, you don't know. You you, you just want to try. You want to spend somebody else's money on that. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yeah. Damn, no shame by her game. Damn. Hey, I'll, I'll <laughs> be adventurous. I ain't never did this before. You know, I'm going anything to is out of the ordinary. Anything that's What's out that? of the ordinary. Um, like axe throwing or something like that? Do. Like axe throwing or something? <laughs> that Did she hear me? <laughs> <laughs> that's that out of the ordinary. <laughs> Jojo, chime in real quick. Man. What are some, give, us, give us some <laughs> ideas. Some guys that don't have a problem with, with finances or whatever. So there's no budget on anything. They're just wanting to know what type of date can you take a woman out on that she's actually going to enjoy? That um, you have experience with. Hopefully you have some experience behind. I not just we're not just guessing with this thing. Um going to the movies. Um, let's say there's like an event uptown, like Taste of Charlotte or something like that. Just going to one of the cultural events in the city. Um there's um going to the park. And then maybe just walking around the lake or something like that, or like the, there's the little lake um, onto a restaurant. That's where you can, after you leave, you can walk around the lake and just be able to talk somewhere. We're able to have conversation and actually build rather than like being in a club where you can't hear nobody. And it's just a bunch of music or whatnot, what have you. All right, something more personal, more intimate. Target. So, okay. So that's, that's for, for the broader audience. Say for instance, these are guys that are making two hundred and fifty to three hundred thousand dollars per year. 
Like, mm. what would be some some idea? Like, the movies is cool, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Some some guys they roll in different type of circles, so they, you know what I'm saying. They're, uh, it's gonna. I feel like it's gonna be a little. So, bit in other different. words, the women that they with is bougie. Maybe, maybe sort of. Kind, I mean, they they themselves may may be somewhat of bougie, so they might not want to hang around. You know what I'm saying? Like certain. So things. I guess it does depend on the woman that they're looking at. Because if they're going to be around a bougie woman, she's going to want you to go to a restaurant that has valet, five, um, you know, go to some type of upscale somewhere where they can have drinks and um, let's, up, let's up, uh, upscale lounges. Like they, they don't want to. They don't want to do like the regular stuff. Like when I think about the movies, going out to eat and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just that's that's like a regular date. They want to wow a woman so they she actually enjoys. You know what I'm saying? Like food, food so, is cool, right? Cool. So now, what about what about renting a, what about renting a yacht and having dinner on the yacht and going and exploring the lake could, or the ocean or something? Like you could do a boat trip. Um, they do have that where you can rent the boats. They also have people that actually set up. I saw one lady; she was actually in the park and she set up where it's got like a little romantic date. So it had pillows, candles, food, go. wine, and all that stuff. And they they actually set it up for you. Um, you could do something like that. Um, Let's see. I'm I'm talking that price, man. Um, make, making it seem like he actually took because I want I want it to be something that it looks like he kind of like actually took his time to. It's like a thought out date because I feel like you know what I'm saying he put the effort into setting up the pillows, got the wine, and you know he actually went all out for me. Versus just taking the chick out to, to dinner, even though it's a five star restaurant. This is nice, you know, good job. But he's looking, you know, these type of guys, they're looking for something a little bit more. I want. They even I wanna, have it where you can. They even have it where you can, like some of the wineries have tree houses that are lit with lights and stuff, yeah. um, and you can rent the tree houses and actually have wine and dinner and like a, a your own little personal tree house. Yeah, hey, Jojo, um, you ever seen uh set it off? Uh, yeah. You seen where Blair Underwood took uh Jada Pinkett? He took her shopping to go buy the outfit and everything, and uh, they end up going. I don't know if they went to a dinner or whatever, but you know, you, you know, you start off like that where he, the guy actually take you go buy your outfit, your jewelry, get your hair done, nails done, and everything, and then y'all go out to eat. Would that be suitable for a guy in that yeah. caliber? It, that, yeah, that may be something that, but Jada was kind of like lower class. These, I'm thinking these chicks already get they when they when they see the guy, they already got themselves together. These are like I'm I'm guessing that they're dealing with those type of women. You know what I'm saying? That already pretty much keep themselves up as far as hair, nails, and and all of the other stuff. I'm but gonna tell you the, what, like these guys think sometimes that they have to do the most, but I'm gonna be real honest with you. A lot of these women, they just want you to give them your attention. And when you're out, not look at other women and make them feel like they're special. And it really doesn't matter how much you spend or what you do, as long as when you're with that person, they make you feel like you're the only one. And I, I, that a, will go a, a lot a, further. Even yeah, even uh, that's what I'm saying. You actually even with more time. money, even with people. I mean, like you ain't even gotta have yeah. money, but I do know that women really appreciate when you actually take the time to have a thought out date. Like yeah. we're gonna go here, this, that, and the third. Like, oh man, you actually you really took your time to to plan this out, and definitely what you were saying. You know what I'm saying? When you, once you're there, guys, make sure y'all focus on on those women. You know what I'm saying? I understand that y'all have y'all business that y'all gotta run or whatnot. And again, we're talking to those those guys that you know they make they make a lot of money. So I know that their time is you know always pressed. So. <laughs> So I would say to uh, talk to the woman, figure out what she likes. You know, let's say she likes horses, then set up a date where you're going horseback riding mm. or something like that. So figure, talk to her and get into her brain and see what her hobbies are, you know, and then set the date up around what she likes and make it really that that's a that's thought out too. Ray her Facebook page. No, I'm I got I got an idea. How about hiring a chef? And have a dinner in the park or whatever, and you got got you hire some waitress or whatever, and they serve you like you in a restaurant, but it's just y'all, and y'all just sitting out in the park 
and y'all got the whole area to yourself, and y'all could just sit there, listen to nature, and enjoy a hot meal, served by a chef. You can do that in the room. Personalized. Well, and it's all, you know, the table and everything, yeah. decorated candles. <laughs> huh? you know, going back to my place or going back to her place, that's that's completely out of it. Like, that's not happening. <laughs> hey, no, you know, speak. having it all set it up, decorated, you know. It's yeah. it's just real, real lit. That you know, every uh, decorating is all out on the table. You know, you got, you know, got a, like a little uh, archway with the little curtain. You walking through there, and it's all beautiful. You got the little lights and everything, and you got the person, you know, with the little towel over his arm and the champagne in his hand. Like, welcome this way. How you doing? You know, he escorting you to the table and make you feel like royalty. All right, thanks. Y'all just sitting there, y'all. The horse rides around huh? the city too. And the little the horse rides around the city. Mario your uncle, bar your drunk uncle. Give him a look. You know what I'm saying? Look, bud light. On the track. Right this way, Miss. He gonna lead right into that damn pond over there. Got anything else that you wanted to add? Again, and we're we're talking about. Uh, a date for like high value men that make you know what I'm saying uh, they're in the top ten, top five percent of all men. What advice? Would I would you just, give to? I would just say just hire that chef, man, in either a park or a private room. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and just act like you're in a restaurant. Just gotcha. be uh, privatized just y'all too. <laughs> you got, you, you got, you got, it, got it ball out. No. <laughs> You had anything that you wanted to add to it? Um, yeah. Try to help help these men, help these men out. Y'all keep in mind, man. These these guys are really really good when it comes to finances and businesses and managing. They just need a little bit of help when it comes to dating. You know what I mean? You hire a band too. That way they can be sitting there playing the music while y'all eat. Keep it my- he just oh, wanted shit. me talk every time you ask me. He just started talking my, to my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, we let's go ahead and exit that part out. Yo, you, you go ahead and say it, Desiree. My bad. You just have to be really personable. You have to really kind of know that person and know what they're like, what they like. So, like he said, get a band. He could get a band and they could come in and they could play like one of her favorite songs, something that she likes. Um Things that she likes, put them all together in one. Even if you don't like rent out a restaurant, you could even you could just do it within your home or rent like a hotel room and do it there. Have a massage, somebody that these, comes. Wait, 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 before you listen to this, so, yeah, these guys they're not they're not going back to their house. They're not going to any hotels, or anything. This is this is public, so they're trying to make sure that they respect the woman. You know, what I'm saying respect every. It's, it's not going to be one of those type of. You going back to my place? We going to a hotel or motel, any, anything like that. So, <laughs> the guys that are listening, they they, they just want to know if we were to go out on a date, like how would I be able to wow a respectful woman that we have not had sex with in a course or anything like that? Orally, anal, anal, or any of that. But still respect. So these, respect these, these, these guys, these, listen, but listen, but listen. These guys make they make a lot of money. All right. So if, if they need to rent out a room or something like that, like as far as in a building, that's cool, but not no hotels and, and going back to their spot. Mm-hmm. Okay. Think so big. Think, yeah, think think big. They could. big outside. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh man so um what I, what i got from everybody is uh man you you know what i'm saying you want to you want to take these women out anytime once you get to that point you can listen to the women on this as far as you know what i'm saying the places to go and the things to do but i'm just gonna say just make sure that you pay attention to that woman man you know you're giving her your undivided attention and again i understand that you guys are very very busy because of the things that you do and it requires that you, you know what I'm saying, are very alert and attentive or whatnot. But, but yeah, man, just make sure you're paying attention and ask questions. It's going to be completely different from, you know what I'm saying, chilling and talking to a colleague versus talking to a woman. 
women are completely different, man. I'm I'm actually still trying to figure them out. You know, they they're a little bit on the crazy side. We just got to oh lord, we got to, we got to deal with it, dog. <laughs> but every woman is different, man. Just keep that in mind. Every woman is different. No woman is the same, and you just kind of kind of feel your way in the dark. And just be careful. Mm -hmm. Be careful not to step on any toe. All right. Yeah. All right. Anybody got anything else they want to add before we get out of here? Hey, I know we always talk about tech, you know, about car tech cars and everything like that. I just had to put out there. Subaru just released they they about to uh come out with a new electric car next year. What? The Soul Terra. Yep, it's gonna be a uh, Subaru Soul Terra 2022. Mm -hmm. Yo, I got I, I got say, we'll pull up a new uh, YouTube okay. video. I got to check it out. Yeah, I wanna say they are no, that's Kia. Kia already has one. I don't know if you knew it, but I think we saw no, Kia. Ain't. That has a uh, electric car already. Oh, I didn't mm. even know. I I just I had to put out Subaru because I like drive a, a Subaru. You know what I mean? Heck yeah. First of all, <laughs> I didn't think Subaru was making any more cars. Okay, damn. Throwing shots at Subaru. It's all good. Subaru <laughs> is the only brand that comes stock all-wheel drive. Okay, <laughs> that's the only brand that comes stock all-wheel drive. And they are not the most cla they're not the most flashiest car. They're the most safest cars. So they always focus their uh, attention to safety rather than looks. So they a lot of, they they very behind on the on the curve of you know the looks good and all of that stuff and the engine and stuff like that. But you can guarantee if you have a Subaru, you uh, you see a lot of Subarus that's been on the road for the last twenty years and they still driving smooth. That's and why that's I stick with Subaru. And huh? that's the reason why Devontae has his YouTube channel, and we cannot wait for him to do a, a review on his yes. Subaru so we can know what's going on, man, because you sound like you got a, a lot of knowledge, brother. We need to hear I about do. this, man. And I need to go. I'm not, I'm going. I'm putting that on my YouTube channel, so stay tuned for that, folks. Okay, yes. cool. We're going to be on the lookout. I cannot wait to send Subaru. Because we got some people there. on the podcast yeah. that's unaware about Subaru, you know. Yeah. Children. <laughs> oh lord but, uh, man. yeah i'm definitely looking forward to getting that electric I, i'm that next vehicle i buy is definitely gonna be electric hey ev all day baby let's go all day the whole podcast all of us gonna mm -hmm. be an ev bro. let's go mm -hmm. let's free we're gonna be at, we all go off all four of us gonna be at the charging post like what's up <laughs> <laughs> we on <doing> that <laughs> Go ahead and pick up because it's gonna be a while. All right, does anybody have anything else that they want to uh tell the people before we get out of here? I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Uh see y'all Friday. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. Jojo, you got anything you want to add? No, but peace out, y'all. All right, man. Y'all, y'all be easy, be blessed, be beautiful. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Take your medication, y'all. Ha, 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 ha.